The Ministry of Petroleum and Mineral Resources of the Federal Republic of Somalia has announced the launching of Somalia's first offshore licensing round. The 2020 Somali licensing round features up to seven blocks that are up for the binding process, which are estimated to be among the most prospective areas for hydrocarbon explorations and production in Somalia. This licensing round will open on 4th of August this year and will be closing on 12th March 2021. According to the Deputy Minister for Petroleum and Mineral Resources, Mahmoud Abdikadir Hilal, up to seven blocks were put for biding in the first licensing round in a process that will last up to March 2021. The minister said in a tweet, We have officially opened the first licensing round pre-announcement offshore 2020 on the most potential seven hydrocarbon blocks, which will regulate by the Somali Petroleum Law and PSA. The process will be transparent and take up to one year. End of quote. Over 130 international investors attended the licensing round pre-announcements of the blocks offshore 2020. The blocks are specifically located in Galmudug, Hishabele, Southwest and Jubaland regions, but the Horn of the African state will only officially sign an exploration agreement when the extractive income tax law is enacted, according to the Deputy Minister for Petroleum and Mineral Resources, Mahmoud Abdikadir Hilal. The Ministry of Petroleum, in another statement, assured that the process would be fair and transparent for everyone taking part in the licensing round, adding that the revenues generated from oil gas explorations will be used as a catalyst for a new dynamic, renewable and self-sustainable economy. All majors Exxon and Shell returned to the country in February, where they agreed on a joint venture with the federal government, which saw them pay pending surface rentals amounting to $1.7 million. Somalia had set January 2020 as the deadline for completion of licensing rounds following a London oil conference in February 2020. The Upper House passed the amended petroleum law in February, which incorporates a revenue-sharing model between the federal government, federal member states, and oil-producing districts. Reporting for CBTV, I am Wangoingoge.